Today I'm taking you to Apulia and more precisely to Salento. We are going to prepare delicious cream and black cherry pasticciotti. Ready? Let's get started. For our pasticciotti, we start by preparing the short crust pastry. We put the flour in a cutter. And we also add the lard according to the original recipe, but if you want, you can replace it with butter. And now we blend for a few seconds. We then combine the granulated sugar, the egg yolks, the grated lemon zest, the vanilla extract, and the salt. I whisk everything again until the ingredients are compacted. We need our shortbread to compact it well. And then we form it into a ball. I place the ball on a sheet of baking paper, flatten it a little bit, cover it with another sheet. And then I roll it out to a thickness of four or five millimeters. Perfect, now I take my shortbread to rest in the refrigerator for half an hour. While our shortbread rests in the refrigerator, we prepare the custard for the pasticciotti. Here we have egg yolks, to which I am going to add the starch and sugar. We put the milk in a saucepan and we add the grated lemon zest. We turn on the heat. And we also add the yolk mixture. And now stir everything until it thickens. The cream has thickened. I turn off the heat and pour it into a shallow, wide Pyrex dish. After leveling it, I cover it on contact with foil and let it cool completely. And here we are with our rolled out shortbread. Be sure to take it out of the refrigerator at least 10 to 15 minutes before using it because it must not be cold, otherwise it will break. This is the pastry mold, two and a half inches high, 10 inches long and six inches wide. We have to line it so I lay it on the pastry and cut all around it, leaving at least an extra finger of dough. We take the template and put it inside a previously buttered mold. We push it well. Inside. And then we cut off the excess dough from the edges with a small knife, cutting from the inside out like this. And now we prick the bottom without going over the pastry with the red dough of a fork so it won't puff up during baking. And in the same way, I prepare all the others. Before rolling out the leftovers again, I take my pastry shells to the refrigerator to firm up. The leftover shortbread has been rolled out and is resting now. We have to fill our pasticciotti. So we put some custard, which as you see, I put in the sac à poche on the bottom. I put a couple of black cherries in syrup inside the cream in each pasticciotto after which we top with the remaining cream. It's time to cut out the tops of our pasticciottos, so we always take our mold. This time instead, with a small knife, we just follow the outline without leaving extra dough. And now we coat our pasticciotto. We let out some air if there is any. And well the, the two pastry doughs, the bottom one and the top one. And I continue in the same way until I finish all the pasticciottos. I brush each pasticciotto with beaten egg white. Beaten lightly, mind you, not stiffly. In the oven, our pasticciotti at a time of about 220 degrees in the static oven for 12 minutes. 
Here are my pasticciotti. I confess the first time I tasted them, it was love at first sight, and I am sure you will have the same effect. Let me know. Thank you.